Uh, well, first of all, I have to be kind of careful about how I word this. <laughs> so, Dustin's getting f***ed up. <laughs> I think the Dustin Poirier is a different animal. He is a different animal than the last time they faced. But Conor McGregor could win this fight. You know, I, I'm, 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 I might be I'm pulling for him. We'll see how it goes. Now, I feel like it's... Uh... It's going to be a, a close contest. I feel like it's going to go the full five. I feel like it's going to be a close contest. It's, it's honestly up in the air. I do not believe it's going to go down like the first. I feel like at 55, Dustin is one of the one of the bigger guys at 55. It's it's you know he's not he doesn't look the biggest or the most imposing, but he's he's a thick boy and he's heavy. You know. He's one of the most durable, one of the fittest guys in the division. And, you know, so they match up well. You know, as we all know, Connor has the, the lulls in energy throughout. Dustin does not. Dustin just constantly builds throughout the fight. So it's going to be difficult um, if he can't. I don't feel like he's going to get him out of there, but but hurt him. If he doesn't hurt him badly early on and, and drain some of Dustin's gas tank away, I think it's going to be difficult for him in the later rounds. But I'm looking for, I'm looking forward to it. That's going to be one heck of a fight. I was actually, I was live, uh, I sat pretty much front row for the first time they threw down. Um, I was betting for Poirier that time. And, uh, this time around, I think uh, Poirier, he puts him away in the later rounds. You know, it's uh, going to be a five-round fight, and uh, I think round four or five, uh, Poirier gets it. You know, he's shown that he can, you know, really push through four and five. Uh, I'm not a McGregor can't, but, you know, uh, I'd like to see Poirier get that one back. Connor's motivated, I think, a year off doesn't do anything bad for him. Um, I think Dustin took probably took the requisite time off that he needed to after the, the after the the Dan Hooker fight. So uh, we will see. I'm I'm excited. I, hopefully, I go out there, finish Dan Hooker, and can shower up real quick, do my media obligations, and run out there to the to the front row and see who could quite possibly be my, be my next opponent in the UFC. If it goes in the later round, Dustin, but you know how McGregor sharpshooter. It, it, I give it him the first two rounds, but if he doesn't finish it out, Destin's just gonna pick him apart with the boxing and the angling and the hooks and the pressure and that vendetta getting that dub back. Cause you know they are he already fought it before and he lost. So I know he I know he hungry for this. Mm, it's a good question. I saw that Dustin training at the gym. He was there all the time. So for me, he's prepared for this fight. And I think, uh, I think he would try to throw a uh, throw McGregor, and I don't know. He would try it, or maybe just put he on the cage and start to to try punches to make points. I think he will be like that. I think I don't know. No, and I just I just don't know if uh, if Connor can can fight that style where Dustin makes you fight him. I don't know if he can do that for 25 minutes. You know, that's that's Dustin is the king of that of that dog fight. So, um, to me, this is a it's a uh, it's a it's a tough one, man. I got Connor inside of two or any uh, Poirier anything after that. I just feel like Connor and his mindset can do anything. He can beat the world with him, and I I like that about him. And yeah, so he's in that mindset right now. I love Dustin, would love to see him win, but yeah, I'm with Connor in this one. The first fight was good, and, you know, I feel like Poirier got clipped in the back of the head, kind of. Um, and uh, so I, I feel like, you know, it's going to be a super competitive fight. I don't think McGregor's going to walk through him like he did the first time. And, uh, you know, I honestly, I think Poirier, he's been more active. He's, he's fought more big fights. I think he's going to take that one. So I got Dustin Poirier round three on the finish. I think Connor's going to knock him out because my thoughts with Connor is he literally has nothing to lose and everything to gain. Like he's financially set for life. He's already like been pretty, has like made quite the legacy. Um, so yeah, I think he's just going to go in there and like somebody, a fighter going to a fight with nothing to lose is a dangerous fighter. It's definitely going to be different than the first time they fought. And, uh, you know, I just, like, I like both guys, you know. I, I'm a fan of McGregor. He's great for the sport, just in everything. You know, the first uh, the first UFC event I ever went to was uh, McGregor against Seaver in Boston back in the day. And I was, like, 1-0 as a pro back then. And I was, like, 
I was watching that fight, just feeling the energy that McGregor brings with his with all the Irish fans, and 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 I I was like I I gotta I gotta fight, and now I'm fighting on a McGregor card, so it's pretty cool. And uh, you know Dustin Poirier, you can't not love that guy, you know, and uh, you got to root for him, and I always do. Um, so I'm mo mo mainly rooting for like uh, a good fight, you know. I want to see a great fight. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to watch. I'm hoping that they let us into the arena so we can watch. This fight is going to be different than the very first time they met, but with the same result. I think it's going to be a little bit longer, but ultimately, Conor McGregor with that power in both hands is going to finish Dustin Poirier late in the rounds. Okay. So, Dustin, Conor, the second fight, I think is going to be very different. I think Dustin is actually going to be coming out victorious in this one. I think he's going to be able to use his wrestling, use the experience that he's gained over the past uh, few years and, and big fights that he's had. I know that Connor is always dangerous. I think the first one was a bit controversial with Connor landing some shots inadvertently to the back of the head that caused the finish. Um, so while I do think Connor could win, uh, I'm going to choose Dustin Poirier on this one using his wrestling. I was really thinking that uh, I was going to go with Poirier. I think that uh, Connor would have a lot to prove. Um, but again, coming back, uh, I don't think that Dustin is the guy. I think uh, I think Connor's going to get it um, early in the in the first two rounds. I think Connor's going to catch him. Again. God, it's so crazy. It's fighting. I hate predicting anything. You know, I'm not I'm not the kind of person that wants to predict a whole lot of stuff because we've seen it go so many different ways in that regard. But I think it'll be fun. I think it's a good fight to have back. You know what I mean? Like Khabib's going to be in the house and. You know, it's Connor, and, you know, we're kind of in, you know, Khabib's neck of the woods. So it's it's fun. It's like it, it puts energy around everybody in, in such a good, positive way. So it, it's exciting to have one of the first big cards back to, to be on it. <laughs>